Let me be your big brother, all right? I didn't have people telling me all this stuff when I was growing up. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Sam Robbins, and today I'm going to talk about the best way for you to gain muscle, build muscle, and today's topic is more specifically for guys in your 20s. So what you see here is my old room. And I used to have this uh, vision board with like different bodybuilders and body parts that I wanted like, you know, when I wanted to get super big and buff, that's Frank Zane and um, Tom Platz's calves and we have abs and Flex Wheeler and Paul Jean Gillian, and there's uh, Arnold right there. So, the whole point is that I was super into this world, bodybuilding and all that. One of the uh, best bodies ever is uh, Gary Stratum right there. Francis Benfado. Lee Haney, Paul Dillette, you know, obviously all these guys, body parts and uh, muscles that I could never possibly have. But um, anyhow, I was like super into it. This was my vision board back in the day. So just to let you guys know that I've been like obsessed with uh, bodybuilding as a young kid, but um, anyhow, there you guys have it. Little uh, blast from the past. Now I'm going to be doing videos for the teenage guys and guys in their 30s and 40s and beyond. Now why am I doing one specifically for the 20s? Because you know what, each decade, you have different goals, different hormones, different time availability. There is no cookie cutter that works. There's no way I'm going to give the same information to a 50-year-old, for example, as I would to a 20-year-old. The bodies are different. So that's why I wanted to make something specific for you guys in your 20s because I know right now probably you got more drive to build as much muscle as possible and to get lean. Also, you have best hormone op opportunities right now to build the most amount of muscle. You see, because in your in your early 20s, that's the best. Because in your teenage years, you're still growing. So a lot of, even though you have great hormones in your teenage years, a lot of that hormone is going towards just growth, right? Growing, you know, growing taller and organ growth and going through puberty. So a lot of energy is being utilized for that. Now in your 20s, you pretty much have already grown. Now, so you have more energy utilized being and could be utilized for gaining muscle. That's the good news. Fortunately, around your mid-20s, your hormones start to drop. Your testosterone starts to drop. Um, you start to have more side effects. You're starting to lose your hair and all these negative hormonal changes. So keeping all that in mind, still 20s are the best. The other thing is in your 20s, you're strong. In fact, I might have more muscle now and I'm, you know, not 20s, 30s, or 40s, you know, but I was stronger in my 20s. And one of the reasons is you have a better nervous system when you're in your 20s, your spine is better, so you have a lot more strength. Additionally, you have more liquid, more fluid in your joints, so you have more cushion, all right? More cushion for the pushing, but you have more cushion to lift bigger, heavier weights. That's just one thing to keep in mind. However, that also means you have to be more cognizant to be good with your joints, I know at your age, you don't care about your joints. You don't care about staying injury-free. But let me tell you, if your goal is to keep working out for many, many years and decades, make sure you preserve your joints. Take a guy who's done stem cells. I have herniated discs. I've lift heavy. I've lifted light. Trust me, you can build muscle no matter what. Here's the other thing. You do not need heavy weights to build muscle. Okay? You need tension, specific tension, on the muscle. That's what you need. And why, did I, why do I tell you that? The biggest mistake us young guys made was lifting heavy weights, okay, but not feeling the muscle. 
So what does that mean? That means you're like, you're trying to just move it up and down, up, down, up, down. And you're like, seven. That's not lifting weight. That's not building muscle. That's not bodybuilding. You're just lifting the weights. You're trying to get it up. And the goal right now at any age, especially right now in your young years, we're trying to feel the muscle. We're trying to get that mind to muscle link. You want to feel the muscle. So first thing I suggest is you want to keep your reps to low being 10. I suggest 10 to 15 repetitions. Now, some of you know pro bodybuilder Ronnie Coleman, by far the guy with the best genetics. He said, and the strongest bodybuilder, okay, that's ever been around. And he lifted weights when he said best growth rep range for him was 10 to 15. All right, 12 to 15 more specifically. This is coming from a guy who's got awesome genetics, 100 times better than you and I, and took a crap load of drugs. And he still said his best best growth rep range was 10 to 15 for your upper body. And then for your lower body, I suggest 15 to 20. All right. Your quads do much better with high repetitions. And by the way, underneath this video, I have links specifically for more videos for guys in your 20s on all these different things that I'm talking about today. Today is just like an introduction video. I'm going to give a lot more specifics on everything, including the best, you know, the more detailed. So after this video ends, scroll down, click the link below and get on a list so you can get all the details in the future. Of course, if you aren't already subscribed, please do so now and click that bell icon so you'll be notified of future videos for similar goals that you have here. All right. So again, back to the working out. You want to also, as far as how many times a week you want to work out, I suggest minimum of three. Now in your 20s, you may have a little bit more time. You know, you're not so much, you know, worrying about life yet, kids and family. I suggest you go to four or five times a week. No more than, you know, five, no less than three. Four to five is good. You might split your body into three and hit each muscle about twice a week. Maybe two on, one off, two on, one off. A three-way split, again, more details about this in future videos when you're um, subscribed and you go to that list that I give you the link below. For example, you might do, as an example, chest and shoulders, back and thighs and legs. As just one example, or chest and back, arms and shoulders and legs. You go two on, one off, two on, one off. That's actually the split I carry on right now. But uh, you do that, keep the workouts about an hour or less. All right, if you're working out for more than an hour, you're jibber jabbering too much, all right, or you're just resting for way too long. So do it for about an hour, right? And then go two on, one off, or you might go five days on with the weekends off. I don't know however you want to do it, but basically around five days a week. And keep the rep ranges around 10 to 15 for upper body, 15 or higher for lower body. As far as total sets, I'll get more into this. Upper body, you know, maybe the big muscles groups are around 12 sets. Your smaller muscle group might be eight. Again, more details, and I suggest you cycle everything. Again, I'll get to that later. So right now, you want to feel the muscle, okay? Feel it. Squeeze it. It's the best advice I can give you. Nothing else matters. If you don't feel and squeeze the muscle, get that mind-to-muscle link, okay? Weight has nothing. It's insignificant. This can't tell the difference between 200 pounds or 100 pounds, okay? This... It's only you thinking about it, trying to pump up that ego. Yeah, man, what's up, dude? How, how much you bench, bro? How much? Who cares? Pfft. Franco Colombo in the old days could bench more than Arnold, but Arnold was way bigger, okay? Franco could not, could curl more than Arnold. Arnold's bicep was bigger. Leverage and all these other factors. Squeeze it, and then lower it down. Squeeze it, lower it down. Lower it. Lower it, okay? Don't just drop it down. Squeeze it up. Minimum of 10 to 15 repetitions, all right? And when you do the rep, it's got to be like this. 10, 11, 12, all right? Don't do uh, uh, 10. Oh, come on, man. Uh, none of that. Always in control. Your last rep should look almost exactly as your first repetition, all right? One. Two, 10, 11. No grinding. That doesn't, that's not good. Maybe once in a while you underestimate, once in a while, fine. But no grinding, no pushing, none of that. Now, that's as far as the working out. As far as the food, right now you can still eat a lot of the good stuff that you couldn't, you know, that you can't in your 30s and 40s. Again, as always, eat good amount of protein, all right? Get more details about this in future videos. 
healthy carbs and healthy fats, all right? Eat, I, I still suggest you eat minimum of four to five meals a day, maybe six, okay? Right now your goal is to gain muscle and that requires extra calories. All this BS intermittent fasting doesn't work for this age, all right guys? Do that for later on in life. Right now it's for, it's for performance. No bodybuilder is doing intermittent fasting. No pro athlete is doing intermittent fasting. They require calories to build muscle throughout the day. Get it? Good. Now, with that said, keep do that. And the other thing you need is rest, okay? Lots of good rest. Try to get to bed earlier. I know you don't. I know you guys like to party in your 20s. I got it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I know you want to have a good time and all that stuff. And you want to maximize your sleep because it maximizes your hormones. Additionally, I suggest you maximize your testosterone. By far the best product on the market ever is Alpha Viral to boost your testosterone. You feel it, you see it in the blood test, one year guarantee, if it doesn't work, you get it all, your full refund, plus an additional $100 cash back. Direct links below for Alpha Viral. But that's not the point here. The point is you need to do all these things together. Exercise, eat well, stress management, and proper supplements. There's a lot of great supplements out there that I can tell you to take. However, 90 to 95% of supplements are junk. And trust me, take it from a guy who took a lot of the junky products. They didn't work. I wasted a lot of money. Okay, there's specific vitamins and, and minerals that you need, uh, specific herbs that you need, some powders, some type of proteins. I got all this stuff for you, all right? Learn from my mistakes. Let me be your big brother, all right? I didn't have people telling me all this stuff when I was growing up. I didn't have anybody. I had to read the magazines, and the magazines were full of junk information. Speaking of today, there's tons of information on the internet, but most of it, like most information, is inaccurate, is incorrect, it's misinformation, it's also contradictory. One expert says this, another expert says that. You don't want that. The other thing is that most of the time when you get information from someone, it's some guy who looks awesome, he's got great genetics, and he's taking a lot of drugs, okay? That doesn't count. That's not us average folks, okay? These guys do anything, they work. Trust me, I've trained pro bodybuilders. I've dealt with professional athletes. I know steroids. I know everything. My background, which is a study of hormones, I'm anti-aging medicine, and my background is also pharmacology as a doctor, okay? So that means I understand drugs and I understand hormones. Not to mention, I've got a bachelor's in kinesiology, and a master's in nutrition. I know about all this stuff. I love this stuff. This is what I live for, okay? Let me impart some of my wisdom to you. Learn from my mistakes. Don't get injured. Keep your joints healthy. That's the most important thing you can do. You can keep gaining muscle and keep losing fat for years and years and years. But if your joints are hurt, if you have inflammation, if your hormones are crappy, you're not gonna gain muscle. You can't keep working out. So keep your joints healthy, keep your hormones healthy, okay, and optimal. Rest, eat well, have a positive mindset, and of course, enjoy your life, all right? Get out there, have some fun, be safe, don't be stupid. I know you young guys are stupid. Don't be as stupid as you can be, all right? Make some smart decisions. Focus on your education. Doesn't mean school. Education can be any form. I've gone through a lot of schooling. Improve your education, improve your mindset, never give up, never, ever give up, never, ever, ever give up, okay? Have a goal, keep focus on it, and keep going. You have your good days, you have your bad days, you got your good workouts, you got your bad workouts. Life isn't based on what you do on a day-to-day -day or even weekly basis. What happens month and year after year and decade after decade, okay? That's what makes you successful, that's what makes a winner, not after a day or here and there, all right? So again, focus on your health. Focus on your workouts, focus on your nutrition, focus on your rest, focus on taking the right supplements. Make sure you're subscribed underneath to the special uh, stuff that I have just for you guys in your 20s. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you aren't already. Click that bell icon so you'll be notified. Click the link below in the description area so you'll get additional private information just for you guys. All right. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And have a happy and healthy day.